tropical storm has formed as I mentioned in recent video. Welcome back. I'm your granny and you're watching Grandma Meteorology. Your one like and subscribe give this a new life. Thank you very much. Although Brett remains a well-organized tropical cyclone on satellite imagery, its overall appearance has changed little since yesterday evening. The cloud pattern consists of a developing CDO, with some banding features mainly over the eastern portion of the circulation. Cirrus motions show that the upper-level anticyclonic outflow pattern remains well-defined. Subjective Dvoric intensity estimates from TAFB and SAB remain at 35 knots, and objective ADT estimates from UWCIMMS are also near this value. Therefore, the advisory intensity is held at 35 knots at this time. RET continues to move slightly north of due west or at about 280 fifteenths of a knot. A mid-level high-pressure area is expected to remain positioned to the north of the tropical cyclone for the next few days. Thus, little change to the motion is likely through 70 to 96 hours. In the latter part of the forecast period, a mid-troposphatic trough near the Florida Peninsula should cause the deep layer ridge to weaken somewhat. However, it is assumed that the cyclone will be weakening by that time and steered more by the low-level easterlies. There continues to be a significant spread in the three- to five-day track model guidance, probably due in large part to differences in the predicted intensity of Brett. The official track forecast is similar to the previous one except a little farther to the south near the end of the period. The simple and corrected consensus model solutions are even farther to the south. Both the atmospheric and oceanic environment look conducive for strengthening during the next couple of days with low shear and abnormally warm ocean waters. Therefore, the forecast continues to call for Brett to become a hurricane in a couple of days, by 72 hours. However, vertical shear is predicted to increase in association with an upper-level trough over the eastern Caribbean, and drier mid-level air should begin to get entrained into the system. This will likely cause a weakening trend to commence after Brett moves into the Caribbean as suggested by the global models. The official intensity forecast is similar to the previous NHC prediction and is above the model consensus and the ship's LGM guidance. Here is key messages. Brett is forecast to initially strengthen and then move across the Lesser Antilles near hurricane intensity on Thursday and Friday bringing a risk of flooding from heavy, rainfall, strong winds, and dangerous storm surge and waves. Given the larger-than-usual uncertainty in the track forecast, it is too early to specify the location and magnitude of where these hazards could occur. However, everyone in the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands should closely monitor updates to the forecast for Brett and have their hurricane plan in place.